Hi, I'm Joel. Um, I'm a computer engineering major. And I'm here today to uh, see Fabian show a pretty cool process of 2D exfoliation. Hi, I'm Fabian. I'm a physics major. I'm working under Dr. Conductor's lab here at UCF. And today I'll be creating 2D materials using exfoliation of MOS2. Today I'll be performing a mechanical exfoliation using scotch tape of MOS2. The substrate that I'll be using is silicon dioxide. But this isn't the 2D material we'll be exfoliating, right? No, this is the substrate that will host the 2D material. So to get started, the first thing you do is get a microscopic slide. This is what you'll put your substrate on. And to hold it in place, you want to get a piece of carbon tape, cut it to about the size of the substrate, then place it on your slide. To make sure that the tape isn't too sticky, you press it down with your gloves. That will be easier to remove the substrate later. And now you place the substrate onto the tape. All right, so next we get bulk MOS2, which I have here, and you place it on tape, which I have already done. Then what do you do is cut it, another piece of tape. And tape this one down. Then you cut one more piece of tape that you will be used to take off this piece of bulk. So this is the bulk MOS2 right here. And what you wanna do is get a piece of tape and place it over the bulk material. then just lift it off. So this is already thinned once and now what you want to do is thin it again until it becomes very transparent. Alright so right there is good enough. So you, you take this piece of tape and this is the piece you'll be using to exfoliate onto the substrate. So here I'll be using the thinnest layer to exfoliate onto the chip. And then you press it over the chip and hold it down for about 30 seconds. Okay, so the 2D materials was left behind on the substrate, right? Yeah, what's on the substrate right now is two materials. And that's the last step of the process. But to store it away, you want to put it in a box, remove it from the tape, place it in the box, then you will label the box and then you place it in the desiccator so it doesn't deteriorate. <laughs> 